This laptop has a secret. It's intelligent, artificially. Hello guys, this is the Swift 14 AI, a Copilot Plus PC. And Ace's latest addition to their thin and light range really comes at an exciting time where a new era of AI is beginning. It feels like AI has been the buzzword of this year, probably even last year, and I think it's even gonna continue that way for a few. And Acer are not letting that ship sail, they are firmly commandeering the vessel. And what makes this laptop so intelligente is that it's a Copilot Plus PC. These PCs are powered by a supercharged NPU, the Neural Processing Unit. This is a dedicated microprocessor within the main processor designed to make light work of AI tasks, which is good because it reserves your CPU and the GPU for the heavy lifting like the multitasking and the design work while your AI tasks are still running in the background, all coming together like a team. And to make sure this is all possible, it's powered by Qualcomm. Yeah, that's a first. Qualcomm, you might know without realizing you know. Aside from processors, they're best known for their cellular connectivity on basically all of our phones. So they clearly have a lot of experience in speedy systems, AI tasks, and all while keeping everything very battery friendly, which feels quite exciting when it's paired with the power of a PC. And Qualcomm seem to be leading the way for AI ready PCs as their NPU unit, which is what we rely on for the AI, remember, is currently the most powerful on the market at 45 tops, which is not this, but how many terror operations there are per second. But how does this translate to everyday use? The first is Copilot, a text prompt AI software, much like ChatGPT, that comes pre-installed into the PC itself, even accessible on the keyboard by a click of a button. You can ask it to create lists, make images, and even help out with your own work, like creating project summaries, PowerPoints, combing through big Excel sheets, or even writing scripts for YouTube videos. Don't worry, this is all me. If the robots ever take over, I will let you know. There's co-creator which can turn any idea or god awful paint abomination into fully fleshed out AI art, changing the styles and adding prompts along the way. This kind of feels like the equivalent of the kid who asked at school like, why do we need maths? We're all gonna have calculators on our phones. And then he was right, we all use the calculators on our phones. And now we kind of have the same, but for art. You sketch it and then co-creator creates it. This feels pretty exciting, especially for people who appreciate art but never could get down the finesse, or even for people who have lost that physical ability to draw, to now be able to do it through text prompts. I think that's really nice. And there's live captions with real-time subtitles, which is a game changer. Being able to watch live TV streams, even have video calls in other languages, and have it translated as they talk, which is huge. And speaking of calling, there's some really nice new camera technologies with Windows Studio effects to enhance your calls. A portrait mode to subtly smooth your appearance, there's extra lighting to help bring exposure where it's needed and sharpening for a bit of extra definition. I really like these new additions because it all seems like very gentle fixes that you'd actually want nothing too crazy. And they've also given a helping hand to the audio as well with the addition of a third mic now located at the base of the laptop with the initial two at the top. This helps the AI filter out what's coming from in front of the laptop, your voice, from what might be going on behind the laptop, like background noise. And this is all compatible with external headphones and mics as well. And one of the most interesting features is recall, which basically acts like the search function you'd see at the top of your messages, where you can quickly search for a keyword from a conversation. But what if that message was actually sent on another app? or it was an email, or it wasn't a message at all, but rather a photo. <laughs> recall searches everything through the PC that might be helpful to you and recalls it instantly. And the irony in all of this is, when I was doing the research for this laptop, I specifically remember being told about the recall feature, but I didn't, I didn't remember where. <laughs> so I went through all my work messaging apps extensively, even kind of convinced myself that maybe I'd made the whole thing up. And then it turns out it was in my emails. I couldn't make this up if I tried. <laughs> There's really a lot to cover about this laptop still, so I'll try and say all the juicy details in one go. It has a huge battery life, and I mean huge. 17 hours of web browsing or 26 hours of video playback, and I mean, that's the perfect movie marathon. No bless. <laughs> and again, this is all possible because of the Qualcomm Snapdragon that's inside. There's two options for processor, the 10 core X Plus or the 12 core X Elite, both with 45. Tops. It has a 2.5K resolution that looks really premium topped with a quad HD camera and privacy shutter. The build is an aluminium chassis that's CNC milled to make one solid piece with these beautiful angular edges, which all importantly opens out fully. Nice. And it keeps the weight down to a minimum at 1.36 kilos, just 
tiny. This feels quite exciting, both as a laptop and as a step forward into the realm of AI as we transition now from not just AI in our software, but also in our hardware as well. And it's definitely an interesting time for tech because with the nature of AI, the rate we're gonna see these progressions could get even faster will probably get even faster. But let me know what you think about this supercharged Swift 14 AI, the Copilot Plus PC down below. And I'll see you next time. Bye guys.